Hey everyone, it's me Manti and I would like to introduce you to changes that are in patch 24.0. It's quite a huge patch and a lot of positive changes are included. Some of them due to the feedback given in the past. Hope you enjoyed the new patch and the video as well. Make sure to like, subscribe and watch my other videos as well as I've been testing pretty much every unit in the deck. The first change has been anticipated for a very long time by a lot of people. Co-op now has 25 waves. This reduces the overall time spent in the game during the day. The next change for Co-op is new modifiers. The first modifier is Power Surge. When there are more than 12 monsters in your path, the damage dealt by your units is temporarily doubled. Another modifier is Meteor Support. For every 5 unit combinations, a meteor is someone targeting the first monster. Another modifier is Acid Barrels. Collect poison for the trap by combining the marked units, absorbing them or increasing their rank. The trap lasts until the end of the battle and reduces the armor of the monsters. Another modifier is Mortar. Collect Mortar by merging marked units, absorbing them or increasing their rank. It lasts until the end of the battle dealing damage to bosses and mini-bosses and stunning them. Next modifier is Demon Summoning. The hero's ability summons a demon that moves towards the portal and deals damage on impact. The damage dealt to bosses is significantly reduced. When there are more than 10 monsters on the path, the hero's ability regenerates faster. Another modifier is Mana Totem. Collect a Mana Totem by combining marked units, absorbing them or increasing their rank. The totem lasts until the end of the battle and increases the mana received. Another totem is a totem of power. Collect a totem of power by combining marked units, absorbing them or increasing their rank. The totem lasts until the end of the battle and periodically increases the damage dealt by 4 units. Another totem is a totem of protection. Collect a totem of protection by combining marked units, absorbing them or increasing their rank. The totem lasts until the end of the battle and periodically shields 4 of your units. Another change to co-op is the addition of a minimum and recommended critical level for level 4 and above. Obviously, not to worry anyone, rewards and gold remain the same for each co-op. Another big change in patch 24.0 is of course scrapper talents. The level 9 talents allows us to transform our scrapper. The first talent is Scrap Them All. A random scrapper will transform into a recycler. When absorbing a unit, the recycler temporarily increases the damage of all of your units. When this talent is selected, one of your scrappers on the field will always transform into a recycler. The right talent is Waste Free Recycler. The scrapper now can absorb not only units that match its rank, but also those below it. The mana rank power will now reduce the merge rank of the lowest scrapper. Another talent is Successful Shift. When merging, the scrapper gets a chance to increase the merge rank of a random unit without using any absorption stacks. The right talent is Promotion by Merit. Merging the scrapper is always guaranteed to result in a scrapper. Level 13 talents. On the left side we have Labor Enthusiast. When merging, the scrapper sends a sticky slime monster to your opponent's side. The slime has the health of a regular monster. This talent does not work in any co-op or PvE modes. The right side talent is Acrid Waste. When consuming a unit, the scrapper spawns a caustic pull trap that travels towards monsters on your path, lowering their armor. Level 15 talent is Triple Quota. When creating a bonus enchantment, the scrapper has a chance to create an extra enchantment, which means you can get 3 upgrades. PvP mode has also been changed. First thing is wavelength reduction. The reduction of the first wave is reduced from 120 seconds to 90 seconds. But starting from wave 9, battle time will be reduced from 40 seconds to 30 seconds. Second thing is mana carrying monsters has been added to PvP mode. Starting from the first wave, improved mana holier monsters will be encountered to help you develop the board more actively. And last but not least, monster health will grow more noticeable, starting with the third wave. Starting with wave 10, however, monsters will receive a speed boost, becoming faster from wave to wave. 
experimental section has been added to the shop. You will be given short tutorial whenever you open the tab Magical Lab in Seasonal Shop, but if you are not willing to read it through, let me explain it shortly for you. First of all, you will need to complete daily missions from now on, to receive experimental coins. Experimental coins are used to make experiments in Magical Lab in Section Experiments. At the top, you will have to select 5 legendary units that you wish to get, similar to how Chest of Choice works. If all is selected and you have your first 60 experimental coins, you will be able to start your first experiment. First 5 experiments have 15% of success. Only 6th experiment has 100% to be a success. But don't worry, if the experiment fails, you won't lose your legendary units that you are willing to exchange, only your experimental points will be redu reducted. If your experiment is a success, then your legendary card will be deducted and one of five legendaries that you have chosen will be added to your account. I think it's a great feature for new and also old players who does not have their legendary cards maxed yet. Last but not least, new amazing unit and heroes animations have been added to the game. Now whenever you enter info tab on each unit or hero, the cool new interface will show up and the look of each unit or hero will appear at first. I think graphic designers of Rush Royale once again did an amazing job and there is nothing but applause needed. And that's it. Thank you all for watching that explanatory video. Hope you enjoyed it and it will help you with the new changes in patch 24.0. As always use code MANTI in your Rush Royale market purchases. Like the video and subscribe to the channel.